but was first, that the princes might give account unto them, and the king should have no damage. Then this Daniel was preferred above the president and princes because an excellent spirit was in him. And the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Then the president and princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom. But they could find none occasion nor fault, for as much as he was faithful, neither was there any error or fault found in him. Then said these men, We shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. The princes and presidents were jealous of the anointing on Daniel, because King Darius liked Daniel the most, also because Daniel had a higher position than them. They couldn't find anything wrong with him, because he never broke the law and was equally faithful. Can you please read verses 7 and 8? All the presidents of the kingdom, the governors and the princes, the counselors and the captains, have consulted together to establish a royal statute and to make a firm decree that whosoever shall ask a petition of any god or man for thirty days, save of thee, O king, he shall be cast into the den of lions. So we make a law that basically says the king comes first before everything, including God himself. Then on top of that, they do this. Listen to verse 8. Now, O king, establish the decree and sign the writing that it be not changed according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which alter it not. So they're in simple terms saying, no payment. In other words, no matter what happens, this law cannot be changed. So then he tried to avoid the princes and presidents knowing that the law was signed. Then eventually he got caught, so they threw him into the lion's den. And the final verse to read today are Daniel, Daniel 6, 22 and 23. My God has sent angels yeah. and has shut the lion's mouth, uh -huh. that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him, innocency was found in him. And also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Then was the king exceedingly glad for him, and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no man of hurt was found upon him, because he believed in his God. It says again, he prayed, and God sent his angel, and closed the lion's mouth. How many of you have been cast to the lion's den? How many of you know that if you're praying by faith, God, he will shut your mouth. Thank you, God. He will shut your lion down. And do you know what happened to the people who had cast Daniel into the lion's den? Their whole family got cast into the lion's den, and they were crushed and eaten by the same lion that Daniel used as a pillow. Did somebody say amen? Amen! amen. Woo!